Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome back to Noon Prayer. Today we will continue using a Richard Rohr meditation for Advent, or a, I should say a collection of his meditations for Advent. Today is the Thursday of the third week of Advent. Let us enter into God's courts. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? Luke chapter 7 verse 24. Today's meditation is entitled, What You Seek is What You Find. Where do we look? When will it come? We all tend to aim for the goal instead of the journey itself. But spiritually speaking, how we get there is where we arrive. The journey determines the final destination. If we manipulate our way, we end up with a manipulated, self-made God. Huh. If we allow ourselves to be drawn and chosen by love, we might just end up with the real God. But we are all looking for quick methods and techniques to get God. Almost as if God could be an ego, possession, a personal trophy. Farther, further, or I should say far farther on in this same gospel, both the Pharisees and the disciples ask Jesus, when and where will the kingdom come? This is further in Luke chapter 17. Jesus says, the kingdom of God does not admit of observation. The kingdom of God does not admit of observation. Don't believe those who say, lo, here, lo, there. In other words, it is not going to be easily and obviously localized like those who are looking for an answer man in the desert. Jesus warns people they will be disappointed because they are looking for the wrong thing by looking for the whole thing right now. Jesus says John is both the greatest and yet the least. Again, further in chapter 7. The message is, yes, this is the kingdom, but it is also not entirely the kingdom. Yes, it is here, but not totally here. It is there, but not entirely there. The kingdom will never be a private ego possession of anyone. None of us is worthy, and in fact, worthiness is not even the issue. Only trust. No one can say, I have it. It is always an invitation, just enough to draw us deeper. Just enough of God to make us want more of God. But God is always in the driver's seat. You have not chosen me. I am choosing you. John chapter 15, verse 16. But thank God Luke ends that very passage by saying the kingdom of God is in your midst. The gospel reveals that life is always a mixed bag, but a good mixed bag. The kingdom does not admit a full observation. Only in eternity are all the shadows resolved. So it's not here. It's there. Then, here we live in faith and trust in the in-between. A reflection. In what ways does your goal orientation keep you from the journey to your, your goal itself? Amen. Okay, in keeping with our practice of praying for five, we pray for Roger Chasse, Don Griffith, Walt and Terry Christopher, Todd and Ellen Klim, Alinda Coiner, Craig and Barbara Combs. Okay, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you Sunday as we will be approaching even 
further in our journey to the manger and incarnation on this coming fourth Sunday of Advent. Oh, it's getting very close now. Until then, thanks be to God and Advent blessings. Amen.